safe to say no one was happier than the fire marshal. That instead of a candle for every year of Walter Bruning's life, party organizers went with the digits. Here you go, Walter. Also safe to say that no one was happier to see Walter make it to 113 today than me. You're Walter, aren't you? Yes. I am Steve Hartman. I know you, Steve. Although I've tried to forget. You may yeah, remember. Really. How shortly after meeting Walter here at his assisted living center in Great Falls, Montana, I made the mistake of asking Walter if he would take his scooter out for a little ride. It seemed like such a lovely, bright spring day. Hard to see where I'm going. Unfortunately, no one told me Walter can't see in the sun. Hard to see. Hold on, Walter. Oh. Going off the cliff. Walter, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> Because Walter survived that scooter incident. Yeah, let's turn around, we'll go back. And because of the recent passing of 113-year-old Henry Allingham of England, Walter Bruning is now officially the oldest man in the world. Born in 1896, Walter still remembers his grandpa talking about fighting in the war. Which war? The Civil War. He's the only man left born during the Cleveland administration. When you had no radio. Who can say where he was when McKinley got shot. That's when I got my first haircut. There's a school I went to. Walter went to school under Teddy Roosevelt. Is that you? Seventh grade. And got his job with the railroad during Taft. $2.50 a week. How would you like that? Under Wilson, he signed up to serve in World War I, but never got called. And by the time the Second War rolled around, he was already too old. Walter was married for 35 years, but Agnes has been dead for more than half a century now. They never had any kids, and he never took a second wife. Second marriages never work. Even first marriage did not work today. <laughs> One scoop or two. Clearly, okay. Walter still has all his marbles. He's not on any medicine and normally watches what he eats. He credits his diet with his being here. Yeah. And especially if you keep that weight off there. Keep the weight off? Keep that weight off there. Of course, normally, oldest man isn't a title one keeps very long. But Walter Bruning has no plans on giving it up anytime soon. You'll come back in four years or five years, I think I'll be here. Can I have the exclusive interview? Why, oh, hell, you sure can. <laughs> Actually, all Walter has to do is make it another two years, eight months, and ten days, and he'll be the oldest man ever. He is extraordinary, yeah. and he is so sharp, I and know. his memory is astounding, isn't it? It is, and the fact that he you know, doesn't take any medication, I would, I would bet he's going to make it. I think so. I'll update you next year. <laughs> Thank you. Fingers <laughs> crossed on that.